going on YouTube? As you heard, still bringing the dope tunes and also the dope content. So we're back again bringing you the videos from the, uh, of course this is a regular war for us. But as you can see, we matched another good clan. And this is basically becoming pretty standard amongst not just us, but all fair play clans across the board. Um, once you start adding, you know, right now we're running about, you know, we're running, you know, some 11s, you know, quite a few 10s, some 9s, and we're not running any 8s. So when you do that, of course, you know, you get high-end matches. So as you can see, we matched uh, LP3. Um, so uh, we did get the dub. So it was a very, very, very sloppy war for us. I mean, it was super sloppy. It's probably um, our worst war that I've ever seen from us. Um, I don't know what went on. Uh, maybe we're just tired. You know what I mean, motherfuckers sleepy. Motherfuckers was hungry. I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what it is, but uh, in the end we came through and we managed to get that dub. Um, so let's go ahead and see who had uh, six star wars for us. As you can see, it's probably gonna be some of the normal people here. Yeah, uh, uh, CBA had a six star wars. Shout out to him. I don't think I've said his name before. Uh, Fingers had a six star war. I don't think I've said his name before either. So shout out to him. Of course, Kai had one. Cask had one. Uh, Killer not had one, so shout out to him for coming up big. Uh, who else had one? And that's it. So shout out to everybody who six pack, man. Like I said, it was rough all around. So in wars like that, you really appreciate you know who can go out and do those those uh, get those six star wars for you. All right, so um, I'm gonna show about six attacks here. So the videos will be about 20 minutes or so. That's pretty much standard for random wars. So uh, as you can see right here, this is my man Ammo coming through with the beast three star attack. So as you can see right here, um, this is basically, you know what I mean, he just did his thing. Um, of course, you know, with the town hall living right now, the main thing is uh, the main attack strategy is uh, go with me. So as you can see right here, he does a good job of, of funneling. Um, I probably would have, oh, he did it just in time. He did get some skellies out there, but those, and he lost one witch, which isn't really going to matter. But, uh, overall, very, very solid attack. Uh, he did, he brought a jump, jump spell to redirect his witches in case any walked and his BK back in. So, uh, definitely good planning by him. And uh, but other than that, man, I mean, it's not, it's not too much involved in this attack. You really just gotta be able to time, um, time your your warden ability, and then on top of that, you really gotta, you know, be able to anticipate because witches, their AI is is somewhat tricky. Um, so you gotta be careful of that. But other than that, uh, it was GG for this attack. Um, so. Appreciate ammo, man. You know, wars he comes through, he gets the threes for us, man. So, dope attack by him. And, uh, like I said, he got the three. So, we'll get, we have one more town hall 10. We have two town hall 10. We have one town hall 11 on town hall 10 triple, which is this one. And then we had a town hall 10 versus town hall 10 triple. So, we'll get to that one next. Um, we've really seen an improvement in our town hall 10 game, but we're really not. We haven't hit our ceiling yet. So, we, uh, today so we're really excited about the, the potential for the future we just got to get our nods back right uh, we lost a lot of members um, over the past about two months or so so once we just once we re-up on that we'll be good but uh, that's it for that attack the next attack is going to be on their number seven and this is going to be my man sub i don't know if i've ever seen him before um, so, but uh, yeah, he, he had a nice attack, man. As you can see, bringing the golems um, with the EQ, and uh, basically right here, what you're seeing is you're gonna see him double jump in right here, and then you're gonna see him open up the earthquake by the uh, by the queen, and this is just basically gonna set everything up nicely. Um, that's just 
one of those bases where base design, I mean, Talatan base design is so important, probably more important than it is at um, the Town Hall 9, maybe even Town Hall 11, simply because Town Hall 11 still has, you're not seeing me, unless you're modern, fair play, I haven't, I don't think I've seen a fair play from just a, at least a, a good design base, I don't think I've seen a 3 star on a Town Hall 11. Tell how 10 that's where the game is at right now as far as it winning and losing so base design is super important uh, so and as you can see right here the base design i mean he basically basically just overpowered the base pretty much he double jumped in with the golems earthquake the center and then just gained access to the entire base and he just ran it over and there was nothing that not like he had you know i mean he had some town hall nine defenses but he wasn't exactly you know like a brand new town hall 10 he still had level three infernos so but you know base design is really important so um we got tri two wars ago when we, when we lost um uh, cameron was the old maker on our Town Hall 10 bases, we don't want to, we don't want to have that anymore, but uh, as you see right here, let's fast forward to this, um, he has a couple golden mites left, and uh, they're going to die before he has a chance to come around, but uh, he still has the BK, and fortunately level 40 BK is, he's pretty much like a him on his own. Um, that's just what he's, he's had massive health and DPS, so he did a little bit of taking for the AQ and she still had her ability. So, good job, I sub on that attack. Next, we're gonna take a look at their number 10. And this is Kai on a 9.5. This is a Town Hall 9 on a 9.5. Kai really came up clutch, and as I told y'all last word, this is what he does, this is his signature attack, Queen walk, go home, 18 hogs always, and, and that's where it's at, so, um, yeah, but as you see right here, he does a good job of taking out the AQ with his queen, and it's gonna grab the BK as well, BK can also cause a lot of damage for all. So actually, I think he's gonna get. I think he's gonna get the BK. I'm not sure. I I, like I said, I always watch these attacks with y'all. I don't watch. I just don't watch most of them live, so I can give y'all that authentic reaction. Um, I'm not sure. Is he gonna go left? He's gonna go right. Looks like he might. Looks like he might go left. Um, yeah, yeah he's gonna get. He's gonna get the BK. I got to pop the ability. Well, nah, he got enough hits on it prior to. Well, he did pop the ability. Uh, he probably didn't have to. He probably would have had a little bit of health left. Um, probably did just to be safe. But um, as you can see right here in the north, he basically he wall, he wall broke in. He did have a, a partial CC split, but he double he had about double poison. So even though it, it walked out of initially walked out of the poison, he was able to basically kill it anyway um there is a tesla farm right there but the tesla farm is focused on the bk so in this instance the bk is going to go down but he did save all his hogs and of course the queen is coming in on the back end you know taking the rest of all the rest of the defenses are down so all you have is those two archer towers and it's just gg from there he has to clean up he has a lot of cleanup whiz uh plenty for you know for what's left in the base so we're gonna fast forward. So shout out to Kai, man. Double tech. Um, we really need to, get, need to get him to get to a memo for, for the clan. Because um, he basically uses that exclusively, and it's been like months since he failed on the tech. We need to get everybody else on the train. Uh, but our next attack is gonna be Sir K. Uh, Sir K is. Uh, I was 
about to say as far as a range war, but it wasn't the range war to farm war. Uh, these these wars are so the wars we're in now are so competitive that sometimes it feels like um, it feels like it's an arranged war, but uh, it wasn't. But he did good, man. Um, definitely, pre, you know, definitely uh, excited to have him in these with us. You know, in the, in the big boy leagues. Um, but as you can see right here, he comes in. This is basically a, a cold blooded Laloon. Um, that's one of the, the downsides to having, you know, your AD close to your AQ. It, um, it, it sets you up for attacks like this. basically went in the counterclockwise motion and as you can see right here he has one he has one hound that's about to pop and then he has one that has a little bit under half health left that may or may not pop right here and it doesn't pop um, not that it matters um, because there isn't anything left besides this There's that Wiz Tower and that Air Sweeper, which both are down, so it's going to be three. So good job by Sir King. Um, like I said, these week, these type of wars are happening during the week for us, so we know everybody's busy and you know, everybody has real life schedules. But uh, uh, either way, man, we appreciate everybody who takes the time out to plan and everything. Make sure they get their attacks right. Alright, so we got two more attacks coming. Um, right here is gonna be Isaac. Uh, this is on Hawk. And as you can see right here, Queen won't go home. Um, I'm always, me personally, I'm always hesitant to Queen walk on bases like this where the trash is you know, spread out to the outside because you never know what she's going to do, what the AK is going to do as far as AI goes. But he did a good job of getting her um, to go where he wanted. Because as you can see right here, uh, he did need to drop a uh, Rage with the Expo and the Queen shooting. So it did preserve the ability. He did get the BK without having to pop the ability. So definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. Um, of course, he had the Dragaloon. I mean, the Dragwiz CC. Still managed to get that. Pop the ability right there. So he's going to be good as far as uh, that air defense might start shooting the healers and might lose that. But it definitely served its purpose. Um, it got He got CC. He got the queen. got the BK. He got everything he needed. So now it's just about the, the kill squad to the to the east over there. Eliminating the DGB possibles. Um, and as you can see right here, he's bringing in hogs from the south. So to preserve his AQ. She hasn't lost a drop of health. So, uh, dope attack by, by Isaac. Um, as you can see right there, there was the DGB pop. There was the DGB right there. Although, I don't think I probably, I don't think I would ever thought the DGB was right there. So, dope attack by him. Uh, good job, Isaac. That's two words in a row. You're showing up, bro. Uh, keep it up. Alright, uh, so... The last attack is going to be 25, and it's going to be uh, Encello. Uh, this is going to be, looks like a cold-blooded Goho, which you don't see much of. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Wall breaks in. Um, there's no jump there, so he's gonna. Looks like he okay. He anticipated the the CC drop, so he pre poisoned. The poison killed the witch just in time, so he got that. Brings in. Ah, oh, he's. 
who just got the just got the enemy queen. I don't think that he thought that she would aggro right there. Um, he probably would have brought his kill squad in somewhere else. But as you can see, he just brings in all his whole, well, basically all his hogs in from the from the west. Uh, saved a, saved a couple. Um, and basically, it wasn't that left of the base really. It was, uh, it was pretty much two compartments that were left. So, uh, but in the end, I mean, it's not gonna matter. Um, so that's gonna be three. So good job, uh, Incel. Uh, this might be his second to last war with us if he's still selling his account, which I'm assuming he is. Um, so he should be leaving after the war on Thursday, which is a pretty WHF, aka was on her face. So, uh, yeah, keep it up, man. Go out with a bang. That's what we like to see, man. But other than that, y'all, man, that's going to be it for the recap, yo. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in, uh, giving the video a view. Uh, while you at it, go ahead and hit that like button. That helps us out. Um, other than that, man, uh, if you have, if you, you know, if you want to, go ahead and go over to the Twitch channel. Uh, the, my Twitch name is in the description at, at the bottom. If you're looking for a clan, come through and apply to a more Reapers or a World 101. You know, if you can't get into one of those where they're full or locked or something, uh, just you know, request to you know more these, and we'll get everything straightened out, man. But other than that, man, appreciate y'all tuning in. This your boy Tech, aka DK, and I'm out, man. Keep it on it.